Before Carl Prussian presents his shocking and fully documented dramatic reenactment of a communist cell meeting, it is appropriate that you be familiarized with Carl's dynamic background within the communist conspiracy, both as a communist and as a counter spy for the FBI within the Soviet apparatus. We first present some of the highlights of Carl's career as revealed in question and answer periods with which he closes his lectures across the nation. These are some of the questions Carl Prussian most frequently is asked. Mr. Prussian, my liberal acquaintances contend that communism is basically political and really does not plan the violent overthrow of the United States government. Is this true? In the first place, communism is not political. It's criminal. For either a Republican or a Democrat to consider communism a political philosophy is comparable to asking a firebug to be a member of the fire commission. In the second place, as a communist, I was trained in every vicious and insidious technique of violence. Communists don't sit around reading Karl Marx. They study things like how to corrupt the minds of college kids and how to poison your drinking water. Right here on our American soil that men died to make free, there are Moscow-directed schools. I attended one in Farmington, Michigan. The teacher came from the Kremlin. Her name, Gertrude Hessler, occupation, professional saboteur. And what did she teach her class of clean-cut American young people, like the poor innocent kids who studied for weeks to stage the riot in San Francisco? Here are some of the playful little things that I learned. Insurrection, seizure of police stations, interruption of communications, house-to-house -house fighting, street-to-street -street fighting, setting up of barricades, and I was trained, rigorously regimented. How many patriots are put on a diet of bread and water for a week at a time to demonstrate how tough they will be when the communist takeover comes? I was. Violence is the backbone, the sinew, the bones and the blood of communism. In what it craftily calls peaceful coexistence, Communism has killed more human beings than all of the shooting wars added together since the beginning of recorded time. Peaceful coexistence is peaceful no existence. It is the present war strategy of the communists. Communists are not only violent in their conquering of unwilling followers, they are violent with each other. Stalin put to death 70% of the men who brought him to power. Make no mistake about it from the telephone trunk lines leading in and out of the Pentagon to every stockpile of ammunition we have, a communist, a foreign agent, posing as a good American, stands by to perform his Moscow-directed duty. If this is political, a rattlesnake is political. <laughs> 